Hello, and welcome to this episode of Sailing the Flat Earth with Maddie and Herbie. We have just recently watched the Netflix documentary about the Flat Earth and it's called, called Behind the Curve. Yes. It was very enlightening and very inspiring. <laughs> it, in fact, inspired us to create this video for all of you. Yeah, being how we've sailed across an ocean, we thought, who better to tell you what's actually out there? Than us. Yes. Yeah. We have a few interesting points to add to the flat earth theories and arguments. Yeah, so one is that the earth is a disk and it's not spinning. And the sun and the moon are simply revolving as lights above us. Now, it was really interesting. Like They, they have it very well programmed because we actually crossed the ocean using celestial navigation. So we figured out our position based on those pre-programmed lights that NASA there. has them going in a very predictable yeah, they direction. Are, they perfectly match the nautical almanacs in the books. Yeah, it's very impressive. And the other thing, so since the Earth isn't moving, the argument is, oh, if the Earth is moving, it'd be moving at a thousand miles per hour if you're at the equator. And we would feel that. Yeah, you'd feel being, you know, flung off. So it's not moving, it's stationary, and the lights are moving above us. And I must say, like, when it was totally calm, we were just sitting on the boat and we barely felt like we were moving. Yes. I mean, we weren't moving. And then <laughs> when we got wind and we're like going like eight or nine miles an hour, like we actually had to hold on to the boat because it was going out from under us. And it's so been... if we if that is making us hold on to the boat, then imagine if the earth itself was moving. Yeah. Obviously you'd feel that. While we were out there in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, um, we could actually see the disc the edges of the disc. Now, we couldn't see the uh, different countries. Yeah, like, the countries, we we didn't see them in the distance. Probably but, because we weren't wearing our glasses. Yeah, both of us are nearsighted, and while yeah. we were out there, we were wearing sunglasses, not prescription. Yeah. So we, we just, we couldn't see the buildings. But it's probably just because we weren't wearing our glasses. Yeah. And, and because, you know, eyesight can only go so far. So. Yeah. So that's probably why we couldn't see both continents at the same time. Yeah, because I mean, on a completely flat Earth, like when you're out there in the middle, you should evenly see the U.S. behind us and Europe in front of us. Yeah. But we, we couldn't really, so it must have been something on our end. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe the waves. Maybe it was the waves. They were distorting mm -hmm. the light and hiding mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. That could do it. We should do an experiment about that. Now, one big thing, as for the whole curved Earth making a globe, at no point did we go down a curve. It's at true. We were points. never going downhill. Yeah, we were always, always flat, flat. Always sea level. Um, the boat was always level. Level, you yeah. know? Like maybe a wave would make us go up or down a little, mm -hmm. but at no point did we go over a curve and yeah. start like going. It was always flat. Just as we anticipated. Yes, because, you know, based how the earth is flat. Yes. Now, a huge thing. When you're, like, in a city or in a town and stuff, there's buildings and trees, so your vision of the horizon is kind of obscured. Like, you can't really see everything in every direction because there's stuff blocking it. But when you're out in the ocean... There's nothing yeah, to block it. there's nothing, and I can tell you it was a completely flat disk in all directions. It was. And we could everywhere. even see the dome. We could yeah, see at night, the it stars, looked, the stars were in this shape dome. around us. Yeah. Yeah. Really it, yeah. It really did honestly feel like the Truman show. Like you were just yeah. sitting alone in the middle and stuff would happen in the sky above you, but you never moved. We were just hanging out. Yeah, it really looked fake, honestly. Like it seems like they put more effort into rendering what it looks like over land and don't really care about what it looks like out in the ocean because it kind of looked a bit fake, like the sunsets were just too pretty, sunrises were just fake looking, it just came up, it's like, uh-huh, <laughs> right. We are on to you. Yeah, and the stars, the way they just, they go, it was, it was impressive, but it really did look like it was just a dome on us. Mm -hmm. Now, being sailors, we have special access to the sailing community, and um, we have talked to many sailors who have sailed around the world. And never found a curve. A curve. And yeah. they never found the end of the world. They never yeah. ran. They sailed east the whole time mm -hmm. and never reached the end. 
Well, it's simple because being how it's a disc, all they did was make they a circle. They just made a circle yeah. around the disc. And the compasses are all controlled by the government. Yep. So and the compasses are controlled so that it looks like you're going east, even though you're actually changing direction on a flat surface. If you look at this map of the flat earth, you can easily see that when people sail around the world, all they're doing is sailing in a circle. Now, it's really interesting because we sailed from down here at Florida to the Azores, and at no point did we change course. We were always sailing at the same magnetic heading. That's right. And that would make a straight line on this flat earth map. Now, if we go to the charts that the government has given us, let's see if they'll even open now that we're talking about the government. <laughs> turn off Wi-Fi so they can't hear us talking. Now, if you look at this map, you can see that it has many turns that we did, but we were always sailing in a straight line, but here it looks like a big arc that we made. But we were going straight, so this map doesn't really show it too well, but we didn't really follow this course, even though this says where we were. Now, this map looks like it's got some curves in it, even though we were going straight the whole time. And what's really, really interesting, so first off, this map is a flat map. It's flat, and all of our paper charts are also flat. Yep. So that's a thing. And then what's really, really interesting is this curve that we did. As we headed further north, we started moving faster going to the Azores. So it's almost like if the flat map, or the flat earth disk is real, because as we go further north, we were making more... Uh, we're crossing more lines of longitude a lot faster the higher latitude was. But if you go back to the flat earth map, the disk, you can see that as we get further closer to the North Pole, the lines of longitude are a lot closer. So this definitely is a true representation of the earth. Like, we proved it. We never went over a curve. We, as we got further north, we started going east faster, and it was all flat out there. It was a disk that we were sailing on. Quite. <laughs> uh, just kidding. The Earth is round. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just, we, we saw that documentary, and, and we were... And it was were, just so sad. It was, how on... <sighs> yeah, like, really, people. I, and in the documentary, they showed them doing all these tests where they were figuring out that, you know, the Earth rotates 15 degrees per hour, and spent 20 grand on a gyro to prove that it doesn't, and then it did. In an hour, they're proven wrong 20 grand later. So some idiot spent 20 grand to prove what's known. I just want to know what, if there are any flat earthers watching this video. Please. Please explain how yeah. people can sail around the world for real. I mean, assuming the government has not messed with the compasses and somehow, like, adjusted the core of the Earth to... It's not know. a core, it's a disc. That's right. So how do compasses work, even? <laughs> yeah. But, but how, how do you explain people who have sailed around the world I, without hitting the end? Now, the funny thing, I went to a Flat Earther website where you can get one of these disc maps... And this Antarctica ice ring business, if you select the starting point on their map to be the South Pole, the map is Antarctica and the U.S. and everything just all spread out really big, making the Northern Ring. <laughs> so your own map shows that Antarctica isn't a giant ice ring. It's, it's a continent. So. Yeah. Well, it was just very, um... Eye-opening... <laughs> Enlightening. Um, Saddening. <laughs> yeah, I just hope that, uh... It's sad. I have no hope. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below. But we didn't really follow this course, even though this says where we were. <laughs>
Now, the other really... Sorry. <laughs> now, the other... Stop. Okay. 